Hello, this is a presentation of the new line of the automotive thickness gauges from Itari Company. Uh, this is a two thickness gauges. One of them uh, calls ET110, uh, the other calls ET111. The difference between them is that uh, ET110 measures uh, the layer only on the magnetic steel, uh, magnetic metal like steel iron, etc. The ET111 uh, measure the thickness on the different metals like aluminium, bronze uh, and uh, magnetic metals too. So this is a universal thickness gauges. This is only for the magnetic metals. So let's see the, each, uh, each of them uh, a little closer. Well, let's meet a new thickness gauge uh, Itari ET110. Let's see uh, what's in the box. Here we can see the gift box. Inside of it uh, you can see the carrying bag, the manual on the language in the country where available. Uh, well, the entire gauge in the rubber cover and the hand strap. Well, inside of the carrying bag you can find the batteries and the set for the calibrating. We will back to it a little later. Uh, let's see uh, how to work with this gauge and what he can do. Uh, first of all, we have to install the batteries. batteries. Uh, for it, you can you you have to pull off the rubber cover, and here the battery door back. I already installed it. This is two batteries are inside already. Well, let's get it back for the safety. Well, here it is. This gauge was made for a uh, European market uh, and it has uh, English firmware. Uh, there is, uh, there is a, a device says, with, which is made for Russian market, uh, this one not. Let's see uh, what buttons here and what does it mean. Uh, we, will, we, will, we see the light button. What uh, does it do? Turn it on one, once and we see the light. You can uh, light up the place when you can, where you uh, want to measure um, the thickness or just check uh, the car paint uh, for scratches and everything else. Uh, pressing twice you can see the ultraviolet LED is turned on. Uh, you can check, you can check uh, the money when you buy in the car or sell in the car. You can check uh, some kind of documents uh, which lights up in ultraviolet light. Well, uh, this gauge is turns on by pressing to the sensor. As we see, it turns on. Uh, the another, another light button is made for lightening the screen. It's too lighty here, so we uh, don't really see it, but it is uh, really cool. Well, the thickness gauge measure in microns, and other buttons was made for calibrating. First time when you open it, uh, you have to calibrate this gauge. How to do it? How to do it? Let's back to our calibration set. Open it. Let's open it. You can see uh, two plates. One of them is plastic, and one of them of steel. Of um, real steel. It's magnetic metal. You should peel off this protective layer. 
before start using this plate. Uh, do not forget to do it because if you will forget uh, you you won't be able to calibrate your gauge properly. Well peel it off and try to not scratch it next time. Okay. Let's take the gauge, turn it on uh, and press calibration for about 4 seconds. Uh, it turns on the calibration mode, mode. Let's, you see the cal sign is blinking. Well, let's measure the naked plate. You, can, you have to uh, say to gauge where is the zero, first of all. We do it, and it's automatic st uh, stored in memory. Well, next we have to take the plastic plate, put it on the metal, and measure the thickness of it. As we see, it's 102 microns, as is uh, set on the plastic plate. Uh, it means uh, this gauge is already calibrated, but <clears throat> if it uh, shows not 102 microns, you just uh, turn uh, the buttons, the arrow buttons, to set 102 microns and press calibration, cal button, one more time. No? Well, now the gauge is calibrated. As you see, uh, it's really stable, really stable and pretty good quality of the gauge as we see. So, how to use it? Uh, we just saw how to measure uh, the layer on the metal, you just put the sensor closer to the metal and after one second the gauge show you uh, the result in microns. Well, we see that this, uh, the thickness of this layer is 100, 102 microns. Sometimes Mm, there is situation, uh, it could be but not should be, uh, that you know the gauge shows wrong result and you think uh, in it's lying and uh, maybe something happened uh, inside of firmware and you can, mm, uh, you can reset to the factory default settings. Uh, what, how, should, how to do it? Turn the gauge on and uh, turn the arrow up button for about four seconds. Here it is, it's resetted. And this is one of the wonderful features in this device. If uh, you use it for the automotive, you know, the difference for one or two or three microns is uh, nothing for checking the paint on the car, because uh, if the car is painted on the shop, on the workshop, it, it will be difference for 5, 50 microns, 60 microns, 100 microns, and these 1, 2 microns is nothing for it. And when you're, when you're uh, reset when you reset and this device to the factory factory default uh, factory default settings you can see it's really close it's real close to the ideal settings so you see it's even difference uh, only one micron and this one micron uh, is nothing for the uh, checking the paint on the car. And this 
future was made for um, automotive uh, professionals uh, who carry carry on this every day and let's say you you forget you forgot the calibration set somewhere or it becomes uh, terrible scratch it and you don't sure that uh, the thickness is uh, um, is good the thickness of this plastic layer is really good to uh, calibrate the gauge if you're not just press it and okay it's a like you auto calibrate auto calibrate it let's check one more time the difference is only one micro as you see well let's meet uh, the new gauge thickness gauge itari ET 110 the European version